I think we should forward this to Harry, see what he thinks. Agree. I'll text him as well. Dear Harry, have you seen this? We think that we should take part. We could easily write one essay in an afternoon. The prize money is 300 euros. Whenever you write an email to one of your friends, there are a couple of things to keep in mind. As you can see, Peter wrote Dear Harry and put a comma after his name. This is one of the most common ways to start emails. You may also put nothing after the name and simply start in the next line. Exclamation marks should be avoided. The first line of the email always starts with a capital letter, even though there is a comma in the line above. Hi both, sounds great. However, it says that only groups of 6 to 8 can take part. Let's ask some of the others. Otherwise, we can't do it. Bye, Harry. In his reply, Harry started with Hi both, which is easier than mentioning both names individually. He also used contractions such as let's or can't, which is possible in formal emails, but are not formal mails. He also used by at the end, which is again followed by a comma. It does not matter if you are writing a formal or an informal email. You always use a comma at the end. Yes, you're right. Once we have a group, we can get started. Let's talk tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Peter and Jacob. Let's hope it works. Perfect. As you can see, in their answer, Peter and Jacob do not use Hi Harry again, as their emails have now turned into a conversation. They also change the ending to See you tomorrow and again use the comma. Informal emails can often take the character or form of chat messages, especially when they include multiple replies. After some time, people avoid saying hi or dear for every mail. Sometimes they also do not write their name at the end.